since our first guest joined the ladies of the view she makes it fun every day in addition to that she's also got her third children's book out sugar plum plum ballerinas perfectly prima please welcome the very talented always hilarious Whoopi goldberg <laughs> I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right, baby. Uh -uh. You know, come here. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. You, um, you did such a lovely thing. You put a, your hand out to me and to the ladies of the view when we got that Emmy. You but got they, my flowers. Yes, yes, Thank yes. You. And that was a lovely gesture. You know, it's, it's, it must be a, a, an odd transition in a way to go from the radio yeah. to here. You know, and as you're growing up, discover all the places you've been and some of the things that you might have done, and you think, oh. That I needed to do in order that, to get here. Well, well, some of them you needed to do. Not all of them, baby. We all make our, <laughs> we all uh, make our mistakes. Yes, we do. Whoopi. And that's why I'm here. You know, and I have to tell you, my kids are a little pissed at me for being here because you know. Why? Well, because in the old days. My daughter is Alexandra. Uh huh. And she's got to be in her early 30s. I'm not saying a word. And you're a grandmother. <laughs> yeah, three times. So we're all grown up. Let's move on. Look, yes. Did you stop at D'Angelo's makeup chair? No. <laughs> no, no, you know why? Why? Because cause I hear that your makeup regimen, um, when you do stuff, is very, very pared down. Well, I mean, look at me. I don't, I don't need any makeup, you know. <laughs> Auntie shine and some chapstick. Yeah, I, I love mean, that's it. That's all I can handle. <laughs> I love it. Know? I love it. So now you've been on the View for three years. Mm -hmm. Three years of, of um, you know being with the ladies there. Are you loving it? You having the yeah, time of your I'm, life? You know, I'm happy to. Uh, number one, I'm happy to have a job. Yeah. Yes. And I'm happy that they were kind enough to offer me one when I needed one. <laughs> you know. Now, is it what you thought it would be being on the panel? You know what? I didn't really. <laughs> I hate to say this, but I didn't really give it that much thought. Uh -huh. um, I just figured we were going to hang out and talk for an hour, and then I'd go on about my business. Yeah. And that's pretty much what we do. Do you ever spend any off times with any uh, one of the girls, like you know, you and? Uh... No, I'm antisocial, actually. <laughs> I'm very antisocial. I hear that. You know. So you live here in Manhattan. Mm -hmm. Do you live by yourself? Yes, I have a cat. He oh. Would, yeah, he'd be attitudinal if I didn't put him in there. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, um, what's the typical morning like for The View? Because I know you guys are live out of New York at 11 a.m. Right. And we're live out of 10. Right, we watch it. So, I heard in the makeup yeah, room. in the makeup room. Yeah. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. But, but what's your um, typical morning like? I get up, I feed the cat because he's hit me in the head several times. <laughs> um, and it's about 4.45. And uh, I feed him, I, you know, do my little bath or, you know, wash down. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I get dressed and whatever I'm feeling like putting on and I go downstairs and I walk around and I sit down and read and then yeah. I have my, I take these shakes every day. I do these uh, shakes three times a day to help me uh, lose some weight, which I've done. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. I heard that, that, that um, well, good for you. You make wow. them yourself? Yeah. That's good. Yeah. You have a juicer or something and you make the shakes? Yeah, I have a magic bullet. <laughs> Don't we all? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I thought we were going to wait until later in the interview before well, we started know. talking about that. Well, you know, <laughs> there's the bullet and then there's the bullet. Yeah. <laughs> So I, I have this thing and I, I pour, uh, I use agave because I don't do sugar. So I put agave in there, uh, agave syrup, and then I put peaches in, and then oh. I put the powders in, oh, nice. and then I, and then it's cool. Mm -hmm. And I drink them. I 
like that. Now, now, okay, so then the, the view is finished, and do, do you spend a lot of time at the studio afterwards, or are you no, just able no, to no. get out I, of there? I got work to do. Yeah. I, I go out and I do the rest of my life. Yes, yes. You know. And, you know, other than writing books, I which love is, you looking like this, by the way. You do? Yeah, I do. Well, you know, the Winter Olympics. I love it. And so, thank you. But I also, because I can see your face now. I oh, can see your face. Got you. Do you but like sometimes it's just like, here's Wendy. Well, like, you, well, the hair, the hair, I like it big. I don't I know like you it do. straight. Like this. But you look very fly. Do I look younger? Well, <laughs> this is what all I the young girls do. I don't know how old you, you might be. Because you know, with us, you can't tell. Well, no, you're wrong. What's black some? does crack, and we've seen bad black. You don't wait, have wait, bad black. It, black only cracks in its 70s. <laughs> Or 80s or 90s, but 90 percent you can't really tell. You can tell when we turn around because we spread. Yeah, oh yes, but yes. we don't. <laughs> well, you know, I like the wigs. They make it very easy for me. What do you do with your hair? Because it's been longer. Yes, yes. I, I had to cut it because I started looking like an old woman. Yeah, wh to well, myself. Do you dye your hair? I don't see. No, I mean it's here. here. Of grays. It's, it's here. All oh, there. They yeah, are. It's all in there. Oh, you know. Th do you uh, wash it yourself or do you yes. go someplace? No, I don't. <laughs> Ciao. No, I'm frugal, too. Yeah. You have to leave the house to do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, I'm Mandy Slosha, I don't go out. So every once in a while, I see you on TMZ. Yes. They, and, and you say a few words to mm -hmm. the camera people, and then you keep moving about your business. Well, you know, I, they're trying to make a living, too. Yes. You know, uh -huh. they're trying to make a living. Everybody's trying to do what they need to do. And if they're respectful to me, I'm respectful to them. And the folks that I generally run into have become uh, not friends, but respectful folks to each other. So sometimes when it's a new person, yes. they get cussed out. Uh-huh. Yeah. One time, one good yeah. time, and then and then they come back and, and it's then all they good. say, I'm sorry. And I say, listen, I know I know you need to do this, yes. but and I'm trying to help you. Uh huh. But you can't step all over me. Yes. And try to provoke me into some dumb stuff. I'm too old for that. Well I've seen it. I, I see how you get down with the Goldberg. Yeah. So you know you grew up here in New York mm -hmm. and um do you have a great first kiss story that happened to you by some boy here in New York? Uh. <laughs> I don't actually, but if anybody had kissed me like that, I would never kiss them again. <laughs> That's one of those eight-year-old pucker apart and close know. your eyes kisses. Yeah. So you don't have a good first kiss story? No, girl, please. <laughs> We're going to talk about a man in your life. Not uh, now. Well, uh, there, the, the only man in my life is the cat. <laughs> His name is Oliver. That'll work. I'm sure he the story will be interesting. Absolutely. We'll be back with Whoopi. Talk about a brand new, uh, brand new children's book and her life next.